Ilse Koch. In April 1945, after the liberation of Buchenwald concentration camp by the U.S. forces, 1,000 civilians of the nearby city of Weimar were compelled to come and see atrocities which their own government had committed during World War II. Many of them were crying, and some of them even fainted, as they witnessed terrible evidence of horror, brutality, and human indecency. They had to see not only the camp's living quarters, but also various exhibits of Nazi origin, such as lampshades made of human skin, made at the request of the camp commandant's wife. Her name was Ilse Koch. Ilse Koch was born on September 22, 1906, in Dresden, Germany. Her father was a former military commander, and Ilse joined the Nazi party in 1932. In 1934, she met Karl Koch. They got married in 1936, and the same year she began to work as a guard and secretary at the Sachsenhausen concentration camp, where her husband was the commandant. Her infamous career is mostly connected with Buchenwald concentration camp, where Ilse's husband Karl became the commander in 1937. The crimes that Ilse Koch committed in the Buchenwald concentration camp are so heinous that they catch up with the atrocities of the Nazi angel of death, the infamous Josef Mengele. She was obsessed with tattoos and used to ride her horse around the concentration camp looking for tattooed prisoners. When she found one, she sent them to their death, but before they were killed and burned, she had carved out the part of their skin where their tattoo was located. She used to call these pieces of skin her trophies. She would go on to collect lampshades, book covers, as well as handbags, all made of human skin. She shared her obsession with tattoos with Dr. Eric Wagner, allegedly her lover, who wanted to find connection between tattoos and criminal tendencies. Despite having her own children, she hated pregnant women, and she used to beat them with a whip fitted with razor blades at the end. Koch also found pleasure in beating children inmates, and she would laugh as they were being sent to gas chambers. She loved luxury and did not hesitate to flaunt it. This would ultimately bring about their downfall, as Ilse and Karl Koch were charged with private enrichment due to capital they had stolen for themselves from the inmates, along with the wanton murder of prisoners. An SS court sentenced her husband to death by firing squad. While Karl Koch was executed in Buchenwald concentration camp just a few days before the Allied troops came to liberate the camp, Ilse was acquitted for lack of evidence. After the war, her son committed suicide because he couldn't live with the shame of the crimes of his parents. And Ilse Koch had to face justice in the end. She was captured by the Allies and tried twice. On the 15th of January 1951, the court of the second trial sentenced Ilse Koch to life imprisonment. While spending the remainder of her life in prison, Koch became delusional and convinced that those who she had tortured in concentration camps would want their revenge. On the 1st of September 1967, at the age of 60, Koch hung herself in her cell. There were no tears shed for Ilse Koch. Thanks for watching the World History Channel, and don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips, give us a like, and see you in the following episode.